Hi, this is Margo with Margo's Healing Corner. This is Wednesday, July 12th, 2017, and today I'm going to share with you these four pictures that I took back in November of 2008. Now, if anyone has um, watched some of my other videos or read my UFO book or seen some of my interviews that I've done um, on other radio stations I've been on and interviews I've been on, um, back in 1985 I started taking pictures where um, unusual craft and objects and things would show up in the pictures but I would not have seen them when I was taking the pictures and this is what happened with this picture today um, I've got four pictures of the same cloud and and in the first one is this weird object that shows up with the cloud. So this is in Reno, in South Reno, and I live in the Reno area. And what we're looking at is this cloud ship. I call it a cloud ship. They're really lenticular clouds. That's what atmospheric scientists would call them. These are these high kind of saucer shaped clouds that show up over certain mountain ranges. They show up over the Rocky Mountains and supposedly because of the way the air flows over the mountains and creates these particularly saucer shaped clouds. But I think they can also be masking things that are actually in the clouds and can be taking the shape of UFOs and things. And so what we're looking at is this cloud. We're looking at the chemtrails or contrails with X marks the spot. And then the weird thing, round image up in the right to the right of the cloud, about at the one o'clock position. I don't believe this is a lens flare. I had I was not facing the sun. I was I don't remember what direction I was facing, but I know it wasn't face it wasn't facing into the sun and taking this picture. So um, I'm gonna blow this up in a minute, but that's unusual and interesting. And if anybody knows what this is, if you could just leave me a comment in the comment section below or send me a private message on YouTube or you can go to my website margoshealingcorner.com and send me a message through my contact form and let me know what this object is. It's interesting. It's got the stripes on it and it looks like pictures that people are taking now that are saying that it's Nibiru or Planet X or a brown dwarf. But this was back in 2008 and that was not visible to the naked eye. The, another interesting thing is down on the left hand corner is a rainbow, uh, like a cutoff, and the color to the left of it actually looks different than the blue to the right. I don't know what that is. So if someone could let me know, I'm definitely not an expert. And then the other interesting thing is that little black speck on the right edge of the cloud. And I'm going to blow this up. These pictures have not been altered or doctored at all. We're viewing them in Windows uh, Viewer, Picture Viewer. And they, they have not been altered, not one single bit. And there's uh, four pictures that I'm going to be showing you and this was the first one that I took. Now we're going to blow this up and get the airplane over there. And that looks like an airplane to me. I'm going to blow it up a little more. You can see it's a dark colored airplane with no markings that I, you can make out, not at this resolution. Here's the front of the plane, there's one wing and then the other wing and the tail. 
and the bottom wing it looks a little cut off but I'm thinking the wing could still be in the cloud as it's exiting the cloud and there's a light on the nose of the airplane you can also see like movement or displacement or something under or around the airplane so that was interesting I don't know if their airplane was the one that made those contrails or not and now we're looking at uh, the uh, circle and you can see that it's purple and blue and some white stripes it's striated and then there's um, the bar shape thing in the middle with the half moon thing is just really bizarre I don't know what that is at all so if anybody has any idea if they could let me know I would appreciate it it was um, just a few clouds in the sky but there was the only one like that big cloud ship right over the street. This is the next picture of the same. Um, looks like the cloud ship. And we don't see the round circle thing in this image. And blow it up. And we don't see an airplane in this one. Here's the next shot. I was on my way home and uh, this was on a different road but still seeing the cloud ship the contrails are dissipating and there are more other lenticular clouds there and they had been um, chemtrailing obviously that day and the round thing is not showing up in this picture. The cloud has started losing its shape. And then here's the uh, the last one that I took. It almost looks like the cloud is moving. You can see to the left it's leaving leaving a trail almost in its wake the con contrails are dissipating and you can see the roundish object there it's a lot lighter and it looks smaller to me too but it's there as well and the rainbow thing is down in the left on this one too. I don't know if that's from the inside of my camera or what so if anybody has any ideas if they could let me know I would appreciate it. So there you go. And there's back to the start. Thank you for watching. My name's Margo. I'm a hypnotist, holistic life coach, an empathic spiritual healer. I actually became a hypnotist to work with UFO contactees and because of my own experiences. And I have things happen all the time anomalous things happen, things you can't explain. But we're living in a very interesting times. So the more we can be alert and aware and open to other realities, other ideas, the better off we're going to be and be discerning. Again, my name is Margot. 
at margoshealingcorner.com. So if you'd like to work with me, have your implants removed, get hypnotized, go ahead and look me up. And until next time, be safe, and God bless, and take care. Goodbye.